guys, this is Leanne here from WoW Gold Helper. Uh, this is probably going to be my last uh, video for the new character I have made. Uh, my goal was to get him to level 20 before he could buy his first ground mount, and I was uh, going to show what he made for gold, basically. So, right now we're in Stormwind. What I'm going to first do is just show you my bank. Since my last video, there is some uh, new items. Ever since coming to Red, Red Ridge requesting, I've been able to collect some wool, so that's always good. And you'll also see that I'm up to 17 gold. Um, I haven't taken any new auctions out of my mailbox or anything. That gold would have come from questing, actually, and selling items from questing to the vendor. Um, ever since my last video, I did put up a few more auctions that I um, didn't show, but I'm going to show now. Uh, there is quite a few auctions, and actually a lot have actually just sold. I have some silver, uh, linen, my copper, and Toggers Eye, all that have sold, and I have some auctions that still haven't, though. Um, this, which is from yesterday, uh, leather scraps, some rough stone, I have some more linen cloth, uh, clam meat, a pearl, this is a bag from, uh, that dropped off of a mob, um, and there is some junk, like murloc fins, uh, fishing pole, oh, and this fishing pole I got in Red Ridge, I bought it, um, from the, a fishing, uh, vendor, it was a, Limited, limited supply fishing pole, so I bought it. Um, and you can see I can now do bronze, I got some wool, and that's pretty much about it. But we have some new auctions coming in, but what we are going to do, because I haven't done it yet, is actually get the new uh, auctions that sold out of my mailbox. I want to do it on the video for everybody could see. So I'm not sure if you can see or not, but I have 17 gold, so we're going to get these out and uh, see how much my gold goes up to. Alright, so we are almost done. Okay, so that's all the auctions at current. So I had 17 gold. I now have 38. So um, in the mailbox, I'm trying to think here, what would that be? Um, I think 21 gold, roughly. I had 21 gold waiting for me. So that uh, obviously is. Again, not amazing, but for a level 20, that's not too bad considering everything that has gone for s up for sale is items that I got while questing, and I didn't actually do any farming. Uh, mines and leather have all come from while I was questing, um, so I never actually took the time to really mine or anything, but now that I'm level 20, you can see he's level 20. I need to go to Eastvale Logging Camp and see if I have enough to buy um, the uh, riding stuff that I need to buy him to buy my mount. So that's what we're going to do is fly over there. <laughs> You'll also notice too that I now have my talent tree. Um, on the other server I play on, I have a little level 85 frost mage. Since this was as an experiment, I wanted to try out fire, and I have to say I really actually like fire. Um, so far for this mage, it actually I can kill most of my enemies in three shots. And what I use is I use uh, I do two pyro blast, and then number four here. What's number four? Fire blast. So. I do two of these in a row, then this, and it usually kills most of my enemies, and any that doesn't kill, I just use another uh, spell, basically. You'll notice this while my bar is a little bit more fuller. I've learned a few more things since my last video. Um, I have Blink, Evocation, Counterspell, uh, Polymorph, and actually, out of this stuff, I've only used Polymorph a couple times. I haven't used Evocation. I've used Blink just to get, 
like further ahead or whatever. I haven't used counter spell. I'm using my fire spells and uh, arcane missiles mostly. I haven't been using frost bolt. I use frost nova only if I have a lot of uh, things attacking me and the Kona cold and arcane blaster new and I haven't used them yet now. Of course I've used them um, on my 85 mage but not on this mage. So for anyone who's on the human side for level 20, this is where you need to go to buy your mount to the East Vale Logging Camp, which, as you just would have seen, there is a flight path uh, to get here now. As long as you picked up the flight path, you can get here. I'm not sure if the flight path's automatically there or not. So what we're going to do here... Um, Actually, I guess I better go learn my training first. You'll have to come into here. There's, there's a horse pen and uh, talk to Randall Hunter, and he will teach you apprentice riding. And as you can see, it only cost 3 gold, 40 silver, so I have way, way more uh, than enough. Now, I anticipate it more than that. I didn't actually um, realize that... Uh, it was this cheap, and the mount is quite cheap too. It's only uh, 85 silver. Um, so we're just we're gonna buy this, I guess, chestnut mare. Now while we're here, this is a good time to look at the other prices. So my character in 20 more levels can learn journeyman riding, and basically that is riding a mount that's a little bit faster than the current mount that I'll be getting. So it's gonna cost 42 gold, 50 silver to learn it and the mount whoops the mount which is these guys here will be eight gold fifty silver so you can see it's gonna cost quite a bit more but within twenty levels um, there's really no reason uh, why somebody can't you know get that money basically okay so here's the horse I got chestnut brown mare and if we just take a look up here my ground speed is increased by 60 percent so this is why it's important to be getting your mount level 20 because if you watch here he can go a bit faster not amazing fast but faster so if you actually want to take the time to do any farming it won't be such a pain because you'll have a mount to uh, take you around and whatnot now, of course, anyone who already has mounts or is high level, you know that high level mounts is better. So, um, you know, if you want to get that higher leveled mount, the best thing, of course, to do is to, uh, well, you know, level as fast as you can and make sure you have the gold. And my character right now has 34 gold, and if his auctions all sell, he's going to have over that. So he's going to have more than enough for the uh, next riding, and he's only level 20. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so basically, that's what this video, th this is what this video was about. I just want to show, you know, the gold that I made, and he's level 20, like I said, 38, well, 34 gold now, and the fact that he has his first mount. Um, basically, this video series is probably over. Now that you've seen that, and you've seen the way that I make gold, I'm probably not going to do any more videos for this character because, again, like I said, the point I was trying to get across was for low levels to see that um, by following what I did or something similar, even farming, um, you'll be able to have, you know, enough gold quickly to get your mount and uh, still, in most cases, have some left over. Either way, though, I hope you enjoyed my video, and, you know, feel free to check out my blog. There's more information there on other experiments I may be doing, or, you know, rares I find, or you know, whatever I feel like writing, basically. But I thank you for coming to my uh, video today, and I hope you have a nice day.